And now let's look at our past continuous tense. A past continuous is actually two tenses put together in English. You have the past tense and the continuous tense to give you the past continuous tense. And that is why we have two verbs there, the auxiliary and the main verb. So in pidgin is the same thing. We're going to combine the indicator for past and the indicator for continuous and we need to put them in that order. So the word B is first used to indicate past, then the word D will follow it to indicate continuous. Check these examples out. I was running. I be the run. I be the run. We were discussing. We be the discourse. We be the discourse. She was cooking. He be the cook. He be the cook. Now let's try these examples out and see what we got. And be the complain. I be the complain. Number two. They be the celebrate. They be the celebrate. Number three. They be the look. There be the look. And that's that. Thanks for watching.